Hey guys, as you can see, we are joined by the illustrious Cece, because she can't be away from me. And that's pretty good, because today we're going to be talking about a subject that annoys me immensely, which is stupid things people have said about my disability and or chronic illnesses. Weirdly, a lot of these have taken place on Tinder, which if you don't know is a hookup and dating app because I am forever alone, and constantly I'm trying to seek validation through the compliments of strangers, but uh, besides compliments of strangers, I also get really annoying questions or comments about me being in a wheelchair. Pro tip to anyone looking to date a disabled or chronically ill person, don't do that. Just everything I'm about to say, don't do it. If you do, I am not in any way responsible for what may happen to you. And with that lovely intro, let's get on with it. First, I want to talk about the entitlement of strangers in general, which is something I've touched on before, but basically if you're disabled, especially if you're visibly disabled, people will feel that they have every right to ask you pretty intrusive questions about it. Uh, even if they don't know you, I can kind of understand if it's a friend or a family member or someone who knows you quite well because they're probably worried about you, but strangers on the street, do you really need to know my medical history? No. No, you don't. Therefore, I would like to give you a few possible excuses of things that you can say, or ideas, I suppose, when someone asks you the ever-popular, so what's wrong with you? I have responded to this lovely question with things such as I was born, because my disability is genetic, I lost my legs skydiving, I actually have legs, but hey, they're not gonna know, or if they do, they clearly don't care because they're asking stupid questions already. I, let's see, I lost them in a shark attack, I was paralyzed from the neck down by a robber perhaps? Maybe I didn't eat my vegetables as a child and this is what will happen to you. Or maybe if you're feeling quite aggressive, I asked a disabled person that same thing and then this happened. Now I'd like to note here, I know these people for the most part don't mean any harm, but it still doesn't make it okay. I personally would never dream of going up to someone and asking things like that, but people do. Again, if you're watching this and you don't have any type of disability or chronic illness, or even if you do, just don't ask people. It's not your business, honestly. I know you're curious, but we are under no obligation to tell you what's wrong with us. What's wrong with us, I should say. And phrasing it like that as well makes it sound like it's somehow your fault or there's something terribly wrong with us that's our fault and that we can't change. Just the phrasing of it is quite bad. Besides that question, I've also gotten people to phrase it slightly better of why are you in a wheelchair? But again, I'm not obligated to tell you, so I will most likely make up some weird story. If you guys have any ideas for other weird things you can tell people about why you are visibly disabled, do let me know because I find that really funny. I feel like my next one is going to be I broke my legs in a drag show. You know, the lip sync for your life got a bit too intense, but we'll see. One that really annoys me that I've gotten several times is bringing religion into it all. I've had people ask me if I believe in Jesus Christ, and if so, I should just pray harder, and if not, I should convert to Christianity and therefore pray, because obviously it's my fault that I'm not in a certain religion and that's why I'm disabled. A boyfriend of my friend put it quite well when he said, yeah, God doesn't work like that, it's, he's not a fairy godmother, which I agree with. But again, this is implying that it is the fault of the person with a disability or illness, and if they were to only change X, Y, Z about themselves, they would magically be cured, and as we all know, that is not the case. I also really dislike when people are looking at me and then they say something, let's back up. So if I'm going up a hill in my wheelchair, I'm obviously struggling a little bit because I don't have a machine engine smart drive thing yet. So, you know, I'm, I'm pushing and somebody inevitably will come up to me and say, oh, getting quite the workout, aren't you? And it's like, no, 
I'm just going about my business. Like, would anyone ask somebody walking up a hill, like walking on their own two feet, if they were getting quite the workout? It's not like I chose to be in a wheelchair for sport. It's a necessity. So no, it's not cute and it's not funny if you, a random stranger, make jokes about how I'm working out because I'm trying to get to my next class or work, okay? This is something a friend of mine, well, she's not a friend anymore, but she told me that she did not want to see me because she felt guilty that she was healthy when she was around me and that my being sick gave off bad energy because, you know, I just admit that energy, I will infect you with my presence of being in a wheelchair. And now, it's what you've all been waiting for. <sighs> Weird things my dates have said about my disability. Cause that's what you all really wanna know, right? How does dating work with disabled people? And I can tell you, at least from my experience, it's not easy. Let's see. We have the guy who Upon me explaining that I was going to an award ceremony the next night for uh, an award I received from my school's German department for like excellence in the German language, that I must be the token disabled student. He also said that it was great that I had braces because he was, I don't remember the term he used, but it was like being sexually attracted to geriatric or elderly people. Yeah. Don't just, why? Mm. I've also had several people ask me things like, oh, have you ever been on a date before? Oh, can you drive? Oh, how do you travel? Do you leave your apartment? Yes, I'm a 21 year old woman. I live on my own. Of course I've driven and been on dates and go places. My wheelchair helps me get places. I don't have it to keep me in the house. You know what I mean? And finally, the thing that I think every disabled person gets at some point and hates. Oh, if I were you, I just, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you endure it. I actually had a guy I was talking to last night on Tinder say, and I quote, no offense, but your life sucks. How do you endure it? First of all, Saying no offense does not cancel out the offensive statement that comes after it. Second of all, who are you to assume that my life sucks? I love my life. Is it great being sick and in a wheelchair? No, but it's not my whole life. This weekend alone, I went to a flower shop, I went shopping at the mall, I looked at puppies, I'm currently cuddling a puppy. That stuff is great on its own and I do tons of other things too. And. I don't think what people understand when they say, oh, how do you endure it? I couldn't. You're basically saying that if you were in my situation, you would kill yourself because that's the only option here. You endure it and you live or you kill yourself. So thanks for assuming that my life must be so horrible and so unbearable that I should just die. I know I got a bit heated there at the end, but I don't like strangers assuming they know my life better than I do. And I'm pretty freaking tired of people that I'm trying to date infantilizing me and not seeing me as anyone worthy of sexual desire or romantic desire solely because I'm in a wheelchair. Let me get this really clear for you. Disabled people both mentally and physically, are not children. We have our own lives, we have our own passions, our hopes, our dreams, our opinions, and we have sexual desire and love for the most part, unless you're asexual, which is a whole nother thing. But on the whole, unless someone tells you that, assume that they are perfectly capable of having these so-called adult feelings. Just because I sit in a wheelchair does not mean I don't want to go on dates or do things that a normal college student would do. I might do them a little bit differently, a little bit more slowly, maybe I'll need more recovery time, but it doesn't mean that I can't do them. I hope that makes sense. I'm tired of people trying to date me and thinking they're being nice by saying how strong and brave I am for not killing myself. 
and I'm tired of people telling me to pray and I'll just get better. If you've had similar experiences, please let me know uh, in the comments, as the YouTubers say, and we can all bitch about it and figure out better ways to respond because I generally become quite flustered as I am a very polite person and I don't want to offend anyone, but at this point, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, afternoon, evening, night, or wherever, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, and I will see you next week. Bye!